<coughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. I wanted to record this video about this cool hadith that I found in Kitab al Kafi. It's Kitab al Kafi volume 1. This is the, it's the Thakabin source, by the way. Kitab al Kafi, um, volume 1, book of people with divine authority. A book about people with divine authority, uh, 14th chapter, Hadith number 1. I'll read the Hadith for you. Abu Abdullah has said the following, Whatever Imam Ali alayhi salam has brought, I follow that them entirely, and whatever, whatever he has forbidden, I desist from them altogether. Whatever virtue that were found in the Holy Prophet sallallahu were found in Imam Ali also. The Holy Prophet was more virtuous than all other creatures, of Allah, the Most Holy, the Most High. Those turning away from the from any item of his Imam Ali, Ali's guidance would be like would be like one turning away from the guidance of Allah and His Prophet, rejecting Him in a small or great small or a great <clears throat> one matters would be like considering things like Allah so shall I shirk. Amir al-Mu'min Ali alayhi salam was the gate to Allah, to which only people could go close to Him. Um, Ali alayhi salam was the path that if one would ignore it, he would have been destroyed. This is also true of all, of all the Imams of guidance one after one after the other. Allah has made them as the cornerstones of the earth so, the, so that the people on it would not be destroyed. They possess the doubtless divine authority over the over the inhabitants of earth and those below the earth. Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salam would very often say, "I am the supervisor for Allah to see who should go to to see who should go to paradise and who should go to hell. I am the greatest criterion, the possessor of the staff and the marking seal. And see, I am all the angels and the spirits have acknowledged the ex the existence in me of all the matters they had acknowledged in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa I am held responsible for all such matters that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa was held responsible. Such such responsibilities are the duties of Allah, no, the Lord. The Holy Prophet will be called upon, and his call will be accepted. I will be called up. I will be called up on. Called upon, sorry, called upon, and my call will be accepted. The Holy Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi, will be made to speak, and I will be made to speak, and I will speak just the way he would speak. I have been given certain distinctions, which are which are given to no one before me. I was taught all about all about the deaths, the sufferings genealogy of people and clear speech I have not missed any of the knowledge that has that has passed before me that has passed me by and nothing of the future is unseen or unknown to me I have I give good news by the permission of Allah and do my duty towards Allah all of these is from Allah who has made it possible for me through his knowledge we know from this hadith sorry I sorry if I sound tired I'm I am tired I've been up for very long <clears throat> but we know from the city that Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib al Wasallam, Ali is Babu Jannah. You must accept his Walaya, his Imama, and the Imama of the pure Imams after him in order to go to Jannah. Denying his Walaya is hellfire. As he said, as he said right here, I am the greatest criterion. He is the. <clears throat> See the Shahada, for example, saying "Ashhadu wa la ilaha illallah wa dhu la sharika la ashhadu wa Muhammadun abdullah wa rasulullah." It's just words, unless you end it with "Ashhadu wa la aliyun wa liyallah." It's just words, unless you say "Ashhadu wa la aliyun wa liyallah." Ali, Ali is highest in Allah's ojo sight, except for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ali is Babu Jannah. He is Salat al Mu'min. He is the reason we do good deeds. He is the reason why we are the people that we are. He is the he is who makes us want to be better people. <clears throat> he is the best of Allah's of Allah's creation. Except again, except for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is the highest in Allah's of Allah's sight. 
there there is another hadith which says that there is not a leaf, not a light, there is not a single thing in Jannah that is not written on it. Ali, Ali, Ali. The sun, the moon, the sky, every single animal, every single thing in existence testifies to Ali's walaya. Every single thing in existence says, Ya Ali. The trees, the rocks outside, the, the water, the sky, the air, the air we breathe, the Quran, this everything in existence says Ya Ali it, it testifies to the Walaya of Imam Ali Ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasallam every single thing in existence testifies to Imam Ali Ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasallam's Walaya like I said he is Babu Jannah so there is a doorbell outside to Jannah when you press it the doorbell to heaven says Ya Ali when you press it. The door to heaven has written on it Ali. <coughs> Ali is the greatest criterion. One cannot go to heaven without accepting his Walaya. <coughs> he is the He is Amir al alayhi salam. He is <coughs> the he is the master of the believers. The world Exist the world only exists for Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasalam, the twelve the other Imams after him and and their Shia. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video with this hadith about my thoughts. It might sound some might sound gulati to some, but the true Shia will know that it is true. Anyway, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear viewer, until next time.